Good afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in, coming to you live from the Middle East. So, because of bandwidth problems with where I'm at, I have to keep my videos short, all right? This one's gonna be about red flags, and one in particular is love bombing, okay? The red flag is love bombing or just wearing your heart on your sleeve, all right? So let's talk about that. Now, if you're in a functional, normal relationship, with somebody and it's been six months, eight months, nine months, you know what I mean? And it's completely, you're completely crazy about each other. She's telling you how much she loves you all the time and you're telling her the same thing. It's all this stuff and you, you know what I mean? And just you cling to each other a little bit. That's fine. All right. That's healthy a little bit, especially if you're, you know, if you're a really alpha guy, okay. And you're, she's never experienced that or you just happen to be the most, um, attractive and most alpha person she's ever been with, she's going to get crazy about you very quickly. It's only going to be a matter of weeks, you know what I mean? Or a few dates, encounters, especially once you start having sex, that she's going to really start drawing towards you and being crazy about you, all right? But, so being crazy and having those feelings of being crazy about another person isn't necessarily the problem. Uh, burning desire, high attraction is a good thing. However, a lack of emotional control is not a good thing. So a healthy, well, I'll say from the female example, but really this applies to males or females. If a healthy female is crazy about you because you've blown her mind after a few weeks, she's not dropping I love you bombs. She's not, you know, showering you with all of this stuff, right? She's not clinging to you. She's not texting you every hour. She's not getting anxious if you don't text back right away and where are you at and starting to get possessive and all those things are not going to happen if it's a healthy person with a healthy attachment, okay? And same vice versa with the male. So you can be crazy about somebody, but someone who has a healthy attachment style and there they're, has a healthy, you know, healthy their, their, their emotions are healthy, right? Is that they're not going to um, cling to you within the first 60 days to the point where they're bombing you with love, all right? That's not what a healthy person does, even when they're crazy about you. And I've seen this in cases where people have never even met before. Like they're online, okay, and they FaceTimed. And they're texting each other every day and, oh, I'm so crazy about you. You swept me off my feet. Okay, that stuff is a red flag because someone with a healthy emotional ability to health, to have healthy emotional attachments is not going to freak out over a couple of weeks over you. Now, it feeds your ego. It makes you feel great. But the reality is it's, is it's fake. It's false. It's not true. Because after a few encounters with somebody, you don't really know them. Now, during the honeymoon phase, we have that tendency, sure, to fill in the blanks on things that we don't know about the person. So, especially like, you're her alpha option, she's crazy about you, she'll rationalize being with you. She won't see your faults necessarily right away, and she's going to only see the, the, the characteristics that are good, and the things that she doesn't see, she'll fill in the blanks. It, it becomes, a, you're a fantasy at that point. So when someone says, I love you, let's say after 30 days of, of knowing you, okay, and, a few, and it really only a few dates or sexual encounters, um... They really don't know you, so who are they in love with, right? It isn't about you, actually. So somebody who, who does that that early, it's not about you. It's all about them. It's about their desire to feel like they're in love with somebody else and to feel all those love-bombing feelings back. They want to be in that relationship so bad that they rush the process because they don't have healthy emotional attachments. Well, then you're just a receptacle for that. All right, means you're really a nobody. Okay, you're a fantasy. Sure, her hind brain or his hind brain and his unconscious mind has that a sexual draw and attraction towards you. That's great, but that's all it is. Like they they don't know who you are to be able to legitimately say that they have a emotional attachment to you like that. So if they are having those feelings and expressing all that stuff, that's it's just a red flag. It's and it's not even real. You literally, you could go away, okay, and in a few days to weeks, depending on how that ended or how traumatic it was for them, they will replace you with the next person, and it'll be the same garbage. When that, if you get in a relationship with that person, 
and a year goes by and the honeymoon phase is over and their anxiety kicks in and they kick you to the curb, okay, they will monkey branch to the next guy or girl within days to weeks or even while they're in the relationship cheating on you and it'll be all those love bomb feelings all over again, but for the other person. So someone with a healthy attachment just doesn't wear their heart on their sleeves like that. They understand that even though they're crazy about you and they just can't, they're drawn to you and they don't, they want to see you all the time, they pull back. They hold that back because, and they have some emotional self-control because they know, they, they understand, you know, I don't, I don't really know them yet. I got to get to know them better. You know, I got to get to know her better. So the most sinister side of this too then is, again, if they're love bombing you within the first, I would say 60 days or so, all right, it isn't about you, it's about them, which then brings to light narcissism, okay, and which then brings to light cluster B, personality disorders, like borderline personality disorder, antisocial personality disorders, etc., okay? So, I mean, it's all about them, it's not about you. Well, a very, a, a classic narcissistic abuse or cluster B personality disorder abuse pattern is love bombing in the beginning. They bomb you with all these feelings in the beginning, they get you attached, and then they proceed to devalue you, okay? And so there's more information videos and stuff on that later, but if you get caught in that relationship, that can destroy your life. I mean, those types of relationships almost can sometimes irreparably destroy people and create a lot of trauma, all right? So during this vetting process, if somebody is just love bombing you right away and try talking about marriage or kids or how you know how you're the best thing that's ever happened to them and you've only known them for six weeks or god forbid you never even met them you're just talking on on uh on facebook or something and they live six hours away or whatever it's not real and you need to look deep inside yourself as to why you're attaching yourself to this person in this relationship because something is off with you maybe it's a trauma that you've unresolved and maybe it's an attachment problem Okay, but I guarantee you this, if somebody is doing that and bombing you that early, there is a problem. They are not a, they are not a functional person. Okay, it's just a question of how dysfunctional are they? Is it an attachment disorder or a trauma that they're overcoming or are you a rebound from a breakup and that's overcome, you can overcome that or are they going to beat the shit out of you ladies in three months? You know, are they love bombing you because they have antisocial personality disorder and they're drawing you in and then once their erratic emotions kick in later and there is no more honeymoon period, three, four, five months later, you find yourself getting punched in the face a bunch of times or getting your ass kicked and then wondering what the hell happened. You see what I mean? So this can really go, this is a, a serious red flag that if you don't catch early and you find yourself falling prey to it or participating in it, you can find yourself in a very hard, problematic situation later. Whether it's domestic violence, someone throwing a brick through your car, you know what I mean? Or just creating a lot of turmoil, trauma, and drama in your life. You don't need it. So, hit me up with questions. I don't have my coaching... <laughs> Hit me up if you need coaching, but I may refer you to someone else because of my schedule here. Okay, we'll figure that out. Thanks for tuning in. Jam the like button, please. I have this first video I've done in a while, so if you like these, hit like. All right, subscribe. Share with your friends. I'm sure you got friends that need to hear this stuff. All right, share it with them and have them subscribe and, 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 and like it too. Thanks again.